Bruce Lawn. Yo, no, how you doing? What's up, boss? Let yeah. me um get the the earpiece so Rich can hear you. Go go for it. Cool. Thanks so much. Uh, so I got a couple questions. I don't know how many uh, you can answer. I wanted to go spiritual first and then uh, physical. Um, I've been working out for many years, and I, I've always felt like I didn't want to be a hypocrite as it relates to modesty, right? So you know, in the church, there's this emphasis on on how women and how they dress. Mm. But as I've been working out for so many years, I also want to control sort of how I dress. And mm. you know, even though work out sometimes for aesthetics, like mm. you want to look good, mm. I'm curious as to how, how you uh, approach that modesty when it uh, relates to fitness. Yeah, man, that is such a good question. Well, you just did this turning 50 sh uh, shoot, which we, you know, I yeah. think you look great. I did a turning 35 shoot, yeah. right? And that's that could be murky, but I, I, yeah. I, I do want to hear your thoughts on yeah. it. Yeah, and so that's a really good question, and I've actually dealt with that a lot with uh, Christian women that I've trained with, the transformation of their bodies too, and that becomes tricky, you know, and you know what's really cool about that is having godly brothers around you who keep you accountable and keep your mind and spirit in check, and uh, being humble is one of the values as a Christian, I think, uh, we're supposed to have being, being meek, powerful, mm -hmm. but controlled. Right. And so, uh, that is really tricky and a purpose, behind, like why you're doing it or what you're showing is, is a big part of it too. And knowing where you're at and your surroundings of what would be acceptable and what wouldn't be acceptable yeah. is a veritable too, but that's tough. Like you can ask Ruslan 99% of the time I'm wearing a baggy clothes or baggy uh, anything because it's in two reasons. I don't want to show off anything, but I, uh, don't want it to be about me. Yeah. You know? And so the more I can make myself gray, of not standing out, the more I can hopefully put emphasis on them and I don't want them to compare to me at all or anything like that. So I try my best to stay humble with, uh, my, how I look and stuff like that. Uh, not that I'm a guest, somebody, uh, like wearing a tighter shirt or whatever. That's just not me and what, you know, where I'm at in my life, uh, especially having two daughters. I would never, I never want to act in a way that I would want them to act, if that makes sense. And so, uh, um, so that I guess would be my answer is be humble, dress humbly and uh, act humbly in your verbiage and how you say things is being meek and controlled. Not that being in good shape is a bad thing or showing it <laughs> in its in its right scenario isn't wrong. Yeah. You know, and so it has its place, but more than likely dressing humble or carrying yourself in a way where it's not boastful, probably more value. I mean, just the, the context here is interesting because yeah. I think and, and, and super I'm, good question too, yeah. by the way, it's, it's, a, it's a tough it's a tough one because is yeah. I don't know if there's anything wrong with saying, yo, Rich. Dude, summer's coming, yeah. and I want to go to the to the beach and not feel weird 100%. to take my shirt off, yeah. right? Or to be the guy that's in the water with yeah. the shirt on. Like, I don't want to be that yeah. guy. I want to look good at the beach, right? Yeah. Uh, I, is that a is that a, I don't think that's a bad desire. No, and it's not, and it's so it, it's 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 a little tricky too on the purpose behind things. And so, like, yeah. is there? We had this question the other day: is is pride and being proud the same thing or different? Mm. The majority of people think, and I kind of tend to agree, it's okay to be proud of certain things, but pride is the the too much part of that proudness, right? Mm -hmm. And so learning and understanding that context in your life and with your body, uh, it, it, can, it can change. And, um, because, okay, here's two scenarios. I have somebody who is super... Okay, this is now this might be too much, and I don't know if it's appropriate for this, but I had had many women who, once they've been married, won't turn on the lights when they're making love with their spouse because they feel so ashamed of their body. And that's not uncommon when someone feels ashamed of their body. Uh, so on the flip side, uh, I don't want a, a, a girl dressing or acting in a way where it's simulating uh, other people around her and she's like in a married or anything like that, that's causing a brother to stumble or somebody else to check her out. So uh, it's a fine line and it's tough. It's so situational. Yeah. Did you, did I you find that I, I personally, I, I don't feel comfortable per posting pics on social media, for yeah. example, with my shirt off. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. I went to, uh, I think my honeymoon with my wife yeah. was the last time 
I was uh, I t- took a picture like yeah. with my shirt off. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I got I sort of got saved after that, and I just yeah. haven't been comfortable going back yeah. to that. And then I guess even when I'm at the gym, yeah. you know, having my arms out or having I mean, I, I wore this today at the gym, and yeah. it, it seems like it's I guess okay, but that could also be a stumbling block. Yeah. And in my mind, as I'm trying to avert my eyes from women I see, I'm also saying like, wait a second, am I could I be this for somebody else? Yeah. So it's, yeah. Even I find yeah. difficulty trying yeah. to manage it. You know, and the best thing that you're doing, which is amazing, is as 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 a guy, is you're you're checking yourself. Mm. You know, and so you're keeping yourself in check. You're not just uh, just acting. You're kind of assessing. And so, typically, like with me, my wife actually is the one who surprised me with that photo shoot for my birthday. I'm really I would never do something like that. That's just not me. And uh, she was proud of the work I put in. Uh, and I was just going to do it for my, the transformation for my own personal. Uh, but she was so proud of me and the discipline that I put in. She want, she paid with another friend, uh, for the photo shoot. And so every picture I post, I throw it by her first. Is this appropriate? Is this not appropriate? Yeah. And so she gives me the yay or nay. And so I personally, even, I know what you're going through is like, I feel awkward sometimes throwing that out there. Yeah, I mean, for me, just just I did a turning thirty five photo shoot last year, and it what it was was it was a good tool for me to now be accountable because now this thing is coming. Like I turned thirty five, this thing is coming. You don't get to cheat on your nutrition because it's around the holidays. We didn't set a date. The photographer is coming. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it, right? Yeah. And it was a good goal for me, but my audience has changed yeah. one, um, and so that's not something that I'm gonna do every year. And, uh, and and those, those photos are still up. So one thing I did, one, it was like, hey, uh, I understood my audience was predominantly male, one. Two, um, I had my son in the photos with me. Yeah. So that's instantly putting off the energy of like, hey, I'm a married man. Look, I'm a father. Um, and that's not something I'm going to do every year. But I probably will do another like turning photo, 40 photo shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I'm definitely going to do that. Because what it does for me is it keeps me accountable. Um, and it keeps, and you know, hey, this date is coming. I can't just be like, you know what I mean? Not do this. But I, I do feel you on that. And I have had to become sensitive. It's like, yo, there's way more women watching this channel. The last thing I'm going to do is just throw up a bunch of flipping photos of me with my shirt off just because I think I look good. Um, it's just not wise. Can I? Can I just? Yeah, but I'm with you. It's not. It's not wise. It's not. It's not smart. It's not helpful. Um, but there is that, that that degree where, like, I see Rich with his shirt off at 50 uh, in the thumbnail of this photo and his Instagram. I'm like, man, that's inspirational, right? Where's that line? That's that's the tough part. Where, especially if you are a leader and you are an influencer and you are here to help other people, where's that line between inspiration and and hey, I'm gonna lead and you can follow my example versus saying. Um, I'm gonna flaunt, right? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna flaunt. Uh, sometimes we when in, in in music and in hip hop it is a little too aspirational and inspirational. It's a little too flaunty, right? Uh, so it's like finding that balance. And fitness culture is kind of the same as well. It's like a lot of like these guys are on steroids or gear. They're using stuff. It's not natural and it's just a little over the top, you know. So it's that's a great question, man. Did you have a follow up question for that? This is this a good topic? Uh, yes. Um. Well, I actually wanted to switch to the fitness side, if that's okay, or if, if you want to stay on this. Yeah, yeah no, no, uh, we definitely more. can switch. Okay, so I happen to, I love squats, I love deadlifts, uh, but unfortunately I recently got diagnosed with a uh, some uh, lost cartilage in the back of my kneecap mm. and a uh, slightly torn meniscus. Ouch. And uh, basically I've been there. I got to lay off squats and deadlifts for a little while. I want to know from you how to, any advice on recovering from that, what type of exercises to do, but at the same time still maintain strength? Oof, yeah, tough it's hard. Uh, definitely, I've been known as a, as a not to be the best person to sit on a sideline and not work through an injury, but an ideal situation, uh, you want to avoid pain, right, in recovery. You just got to make sure, kind of like – what I would recommend typically is you could even maybe kind of like where you can kind of control it a little bit better on a leg press uh, to simulate a squat a little bit because you can kind of adjust your feet position and how much stress is on the knee. Definitely wearing like certain supports that can help to stabilize an injury can help to whether it be knee supports, knee sleeves, knee wraps, different things to kind of protect the knee to keep the knee in alignment. Uh Air, like using body weight movements, all those kind of things, and how you differently challenge it. But even I would look into uh, uh, increasing circulation in the knee 
by using heat pads mm. and different things to increase your recovery. And I would recommend actually looking into TENS units or electrical stim units to help so that your body doesn't atrophy uh, in certain areas too. Uh, so that can help increase uh, like compacts or any of those kind of uh, muscle stimulators to activate the muscle uh, so that it doesn't atrophy. Uh, you can even do, looking in if depending on the severity of the injury, isometric tensions. So everybody hates these and they suck, but like wall sits uh, mm -hmm. where you're kind of pinned up against the wall and the muscle isn't contracting or it isn't lengthening or shortening, but it's under tension. Those can be ways to typically stimulate like the quad a little bit, making sure that you're doing it maybe where you have a support underneath you so you don't just collapse and stuff. But uh, definitely looking it into doing the movements, but doing them in a way potentially that is not threatening. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can do uh, like what are called reverse bands on a squat. I don't know if you've ever tried that, where the, you hook the bands up from the top of the rack. So as you go down deeper, the weight gets lighter. Look into that. It's called future method. We've We'll, we maybe we'll do a video on that soon or yeah. something like that. And Future that method is fine. Yeah, we do that on the bench and stuff like that. It's so like at the lowest, most vulnerable point of the squat, the weight is the lightest. Mm -hmm. But as you start to stand up with the weight, you can even do chains and stuff like that where your knee isn't as vulnerable uh, at the top of the movement. Uh, it's heavier. And so those are fun things to play with, too, as you're recovering from an injury. Yeah. I, uh, I, so I had, my, I had knee surgery about a year ago. And um, and it was it was the same thing where like my knee tweaked and I was super bummed out and I had some some um, scar tissue from an ACL reconstruction and then my meniscus was tweaked. Um, one of the things that I found because I couldn't run, I couldn't play basketball, I couldn't do any of the stuff I normally did. But one of the things that I got into was working out my uh, these are hips, your uh, the sides, your IT band, your hips. Um, so doing like. They, they look super silly and kind of girly, but like working out the sides yeah. and opening those up. And they're difficult to do. So I would take a, um, so I would stand and I would clip a, 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 a thing to the bottom of my leg and I would just pull my leg out and the sides. And they're actually, it's 10 pounds. It's, so I started working my legs in different ways because some of that, some of that injury was because I had weak hips and weak obliques. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and stuff yeah. like that. So I just started kind of that, modifying that, and doing so different hard. stuff. Um, I, I've been working out so long. I know better mentally. Yeah. But the ego comes in. Oh, and, yeah. You know, if, if I've, I've done, I think my max, is, I think I got like three reps at 405 at one point. Yeah. So to go from that to now 225 is when I, I felt yeah. the, the injury that made me go get an MRI. And now the, the, the doctor's saying, you know, you got to lay off. I'm like, ah, and yeah. to be in the gym with rubber bands, yeah. it just doesn't feel good. Like, yeah. That's you, not why, you know, I, I work out to begin with. It, it's yeah. just hard. Are you wearing any knee sleeves or anything like wraps or anything like that? Uh, at this point, uh, when I go to the gym now, um, I do have a, a knee brace that it was prescribed. A knee brace? So I, you know, Look into it, some it knee was, sleeves. It was hurting even in that, you know what I mean? Yeah, look into some knee sleeves like uh, – the higher millimeter, like seven or higher millimeter uh, that are compression sleeves that'll give you that uh, stress off your knee at the bottom of the lift. And okay. uh, that should help. The knee braces are good for like, especially stabilization, but look into some sleeves that can help with uh, helping out of the bottom. It's good. Same basis with the worst pain facing. Moments in isolation. See, I was hoping I would do this to get more family time. A busy mind and worried heart is just not where I reside. I subscribed that all that traveling wasn't doing well for my soul. Glad I never made it when my name went through the rumor mill. I suppose that the Lord knows how to fail. Instead, I'm doing well at.